Percy Fawcett, great explorer, talked about traveling through these inlets. He said that he saw anacondas that had the potential of jumping up and grabbing a man out of a canoe. This is something we're not looking to today. Maybe I have to push off on the left there. This is incredible. We're hacking through the front, and it looks like for all uh, for the next at least 150 feet, we're going to be able to keep pushing forward. Okay, we're running out of time here. We got to make a decision. We're doing cost-benefit analysis. We continue to hack our way through. We have no idea where this ends up, or do we turn around? Here's what I think we're going to do. We're going to press forward. And we're going to hope to see a clearing up there. If we have one, maybe it takes us out to the main river again. If not, we've got to hike our way back through this slop and slime one more time. So, we're going to machete our way through the end. Let's go, guys. Ready? Right. We're exhausted. This has, been, this has been the hacking, thwacking Amazon canoe adventure of a lifetime. All we're missing are the 40-foot anacondas. Kind of. Okay, time to turn us around. Despite its enormous size, the anaconda is an elusive and shy creature, which is a master of camouflage and surprise. And on this day, he might have seen us, but we never saw him. So we decided to take our search to the forest, where we asked our local guides to tell us about a legendary and controversial serpent called the Yakumama. When we set out on our expedition, one of our goals was to see if we could try and locate any giant snakes or reptiles in the Amazon. One thing that we found continually as we spoke to and interviewed the natives was reports and legends of a giant snake known as the Yakumama. The reports like this can be hard to believe. There have been sightings of monstrous snakes in the Amazon for hundreds of years. In 1906, Sir Percy Fawcett reported encountering a gigantic snake while going through the Amazon River. We stepped ashore and approached the reptile with caution. It was out of action, but shivers ran up and down the body like puffs of wind on a mountain tarn. As far as it was possible to measure, a length of 45 feet lay out of the water and 17 feet in it, making a total length of 62 feet. Such a large specimen as this may not be common, but the trails in the swamps reach a width of 6 feet and support the statements of the Indians and rubber pickers that the anaconda sometimes reaches an incredible size, altogether dwarfing the one shot by me. The Brazilian Boundary Commission told me of one killed in the Rio Paraguay exceeding 80 feet in length. Fascinated by these stories, I decided to interview every native I possibly could to find out if their stories collaborated. Incredibly, almost every native I spoke to in the jungle and in the border towns gave an almost identical story. Many of the indigenous natives believe that for the last 10 years or so, the Yakumama has been hibernating underneath their homes, but they also say that he still comes out at times. Bien derechito y así grueso. De este, de este graso, eh? y... In 2009, a father and son team, Mike and Greg Warner, began an expedition to see if they could locate the Yakumama snake in the Amazon. Organizations like the National Geographic have taken interest in these expeditions, though we are still waiting to find out the actual reports and photographs from the jungle. Scientists have yet to confirm the existence of the Yakumama. But there is another dangerous denizen of the Amazon which has become the stuff of nightmares. A flying demon with fangs that sucks the blood of its unsuspecting victim. And it's no myth, it's the vampire bat.